so today we have uh, with us dr a velumani uh, he, he was a scientist with the barc and he is a well known entrepreneur he, he was the founder chairman and uh, managing director of thyro care which he started in 1996 sir belongs to a place uh, nearby to coimbatore in tamil nadu and uh, he did his bsc from madras university and later when he joined uh, bark the uh, approx 14 15 years with the barc and he acquired msc degree and a doctorate degree in thyroid chemistry from university of mumbai so as we know thyro care was a franchisee model which went into diagnostic laboratory and uh, offered affordable testing services so it it became the largest thyroid uh, testing laboratory with more than 1000 outlets across india nepal bangladesh and the middle east so as we know thyro care was listed in the year 2016 and it was uh, subscribed uh, overwhelmingly 73 times and uh, there is one more uh, nuclear healthcare limited a uh, radiology diagnostic with its branch in mumbai and it's basically cancer related uh, imaging services which are available almost at half the cost of the other providers and uh, as we know the, the uh, i mean thyro care was sold to pharmacy in the year 2021 so this uh, with this introduction we request uh, velumani sir if we missed on something or uh, Uh, the introduction from your part sir and then we'll move on to questions from the audiences thank you very much uh, thanks for uh, hosting uh, a special session in healthcare and uh, calling me to be a part of it i don't uh, own or um, i don't have, i'm not an authority in entire healthcare in entire healthcare uh, pharma is uh, equally important and non pharma is uh, uh, 50% in the non pharma what is known as hospital diagnosis 50% treatment is or even diagnosis only 20% treatment is 80% and in diagnosis radiology is 40 50% and the remaining only is pathology and even in pathology pathology has three verticals pathology microbiology and biochemistry i didn't do pathology i didn't do microbiology i took only biochemistry again on biochemistry there are two segments uh, one is uh, what you call as a chronic illness another is acute illness i was more focused on chronic illness uh, not on acute illness in other words uh, first time somebody could identify diseases different and disorders different diseases come and go disorders come and they don't go so a lot of things were a part of uh, the thyro care success and uh, i keep telling people focus gives success and when i started thyro care with the name thyroid everybody was uh, advising me a 15 gram gland is me kya jada milega i think uh, i if at all something went right it was the brand name thyro care and i had a courage to put up only seven tests in my mano all seven thyroid tests only i did not do cbc i did not do blood sugar to start with very unique it was and then maybe i was there in right time and did right things with the right spirit a lot of room was there for to disrupt and probably i did it uh, when no one understood what is disruption i can keep on talking uh, i just wanted to add to what you gave us an introduction this is the background we will be very happy to answer the questions questions uh, if it is in diagnostics well and good and if it is uh, hospital care well and good but i have no real knowledge about pharma segment so keep your questions uh, as much as possible towards uh, uh, health care go ahead uh, whoever wishes to 
either the co-hosts or speakers and if uh, they are uh, done with we can uh, take questions from listeners thank you very much thank you sir so sir uh, i would uh, ask about uh, the prosperity with that today's title for our space is the role of consider uh, consolidation and efficiency so uh, an overview i would request from your side and uh, again i would request you be uh, a bit louder was uh, the voice was breaking in between thank you sir just hold on let me come out of wifi right am i now little more clear yeah better sir yes sir right. so why i said the role of consolidation and efficiencies See, when I entered into the business, the pathology business was only town-specific, city-specific. At the maximum, uh, 100 kilometers from the city was some uh, large player was doing. No one thought it can be done at a national level. I felt uh, uh, business uh, which is related to chronic illness, unlike the acute illness where patient is waiting in the bed for getting the report and getting... Uh, the treatment started uh, i felt that i can do a centralized laboratory so i first started only for south mumbai then i did for entire mumbai then i added for surat and uh, pune and nasik which were of 3 4 hours uh, train journey then i thought it is only 2 hours by air delhi calcutta and um, chennai should be doable so this is known as consolidating for the entire country in a single laboratory which probably was not thought of by many people maybe i also didn't think that this will land up as such a wonderful project had i had enough money i would have put laboratory everywhere had i felt the investor can be always asked to give money i might have probably gone to investors and put many laboratories so what happens when you do a consolidation your machines are having enough business to run 20 hours to 22 hours in a day you know i keep telling i have done a uber kind of a, uh, innovation which means before uber came into picture taxis were standing for 20 hours and running for 4 hours subsequently they run for 20 hours and stand for 4 hours so is a thyroid testing machine if you put in every location you will not have any much work load so if my balance sheet looked impressive that was because i consolidated and uh, from all over the country using air cargo logistics every night same night before midnight the sample used to come and we used to work only in night it was a very very different way of approaching unlike conventional players as i said the consolidation gets volume to one floor that increases the efficiencies i used to tell a punch line uh, a standing machine is a liability and a running machine as an asset i think throughout healthcare in our country even worldwide there are lots of inefficiencies uh, the Uh, operation theaters which can really function something like 100 hours in a week are hardly functioning for 10 hours a week if you take things like that even ct machines mri machines of course half late they are running for more than 10 12 hours but otherwise they even today there are many hospitals where they run only for 4 hours or 6 hours efficiencies are very very important and let me Uh, conclude my uh, explanation about the title by telling that if you make profit from the customer that is not sustainable profit but if the profit comes because of the flow efficiency that is sustainable when you get profit from flow efficiency means you are cost of creating a service is lowest in the market so this is the brief background and i will be very happy to answer if there are some specific questions towards it yeah thank you sir ravi uh, you must have good questions to ask from sir 
Yeah, sir. When you are talking about efficiencies, uh, like what you built on thyro uh, treatment, where are the other works, other companies, or India as a whole is working on in terms of bringing efficiency? Uh, like you pointed out on the hospital uh, OT side, but where are there are large scale changes which are coming in operations and hospital business or diagnostic which can improve in terms of quality of service coming to consumer at a at a very low price something like anything which you have done earlier anything which is happening by other companies right now see in that way uh, many haven't uh, really taken note of arvind the hospital of madurai a tier 2 town they focused very clearly on uh, uh, removing blindness uh, in rural india but what made them very powerful is the efficiency if in any hospital an eye surgery takes 2 hours in their hospital the eye surgery used to take 20 minutes or even less if any other hospital was taking a medical doctor's attention for 1 hour for a surgery here it will take only 10 minutes for the surgery to that extent it was completely automated kind of thing i said it because diagno not necessarily only diagnosis even treatment not necessarily just treatment even surgery that to even eye surgery which is said to be more complicated why i say this is uh, hardly anyone has truly consolidated optimized to get efficiency if you look at narayana hridayalaya which is uh, once again focused on heart i have a reason to believe this is also a consolidated optimized efficient model which according to me is doing very well the big problem happens is when you have presence in all districts in the country and if you want to give quick result you need machine standing very close to the customer that means you have very small market to cover and it won't run for more than 2 hours in a day having said that uh, there are two kinds of doctors there are two kinds of hospitals one kind is a uh, patient is waiting for the doctor another kind is doctor waiting for the patient so this is inefficiency if the doctor is waiting for the patient so to my opinion uh, either a joint practice or a kind of uh, a uh, business model tweaking so that no man is sitting every man is working no machine is standing every machine is running if somebody can ensure that that business will have highest profitability so picking on this like you pointed out on arvind and uh, narayana so is it uh, wise to say that a super speciality place which focuses on single kind of function uh, narayana or even hcg which works on oncology they will have uh, higher efficiencies and should eventually go to a higher margin kind of business and also from our side like most of the participant are from capital market what's your understanding in terms of valuation say globally uh, do super speciality uh trade at a higher valuation compared to uh, in terms of multiple and so do they command premium to uh, something like which gives all kind of services right i think uh, there are too many questions let me uh, recall the questions number 1 is uh, the option of single speciality or multiple speciality if i am asked i will tell multi speciality is security and single speciality is long term prosperity which means uh, multi speciality you will certainly have a viability and a fairly good marriage but multi speciality scalability is not that simple leaving couple of brands in the country yet especially the ones who have been working now for more than even 20 years the multi speciality scalability is challenged single speciality is much easier to scale 
only big problem with single speciality is first 5 7 10 years might go uh, without profitability i used to tell in the village language one business is coriander another business is banana third business is coconut coconut will give late results but it will give results for 5 uh, 6 decades not banana not coriander so so single speciality doing needs a lot of courage conviction bold risk taking but i have a reason to believe when i analyze the scripts and their multiples in uh, developed markets the single specialities are having much higher uh, multiples i have a reason to believe even in india couple of emerging single specialities especially in a pregnancy and surgery alone they are doing well and i don't know when they get listed in the post listing after 5 6 years only you will know that truly what is the multiple but in my opinion single speciality is one which will give better returns to the investor yeah prince go ahead sir uh, uh, some listeners have also asked i think uh, some voice issue uh, can you check with your connection or maybe try to speak a bit louder please sorry to interrupt again if this is the issue with me yeah sir they are saying the volume is i mean uh, comparatively less now you spoke uh, it was better okay okay now i will start loudly don't worry and i am also changing my place ask questions uh let me uh, again uh, go ahead uh, sir i wanted to know one thing as a investor na we always give this logic that uh, uh, diagnostic that diagnostic is about uh, uh, a very small portion of entire like finding out the disease and what the diagnosis would be very small portion say single digit uh, of the entire health while it decide what kind of treatment a patient would go so uh, with this uh, thought in mind is it better to say that diagnostic will grow much faster than entire uh, hospital spend in india because this is where you are spending 5% 10% of the entire bucket and this decide what the treatment what the medicine should go uh, this decide the course for entire 90% then so is that thought correct do you see that transition happening that uh this uh, diagnostic will grow at much faster pace than the entire uh, healthcare yeah. spend from india yeah i have understood the question uh, one thing is very clear in the so your voice is not coming some problem is there with my voice means uh, prince can you hear sir it is uh, the volume appears to be less uh, yesterday it was very fine i mean we were able to hear okay let me uh, try to change your place again sir abhi beech mein aap bol rahe hain to better aa raha hai lekin continuously bol rahe hain to thoda low volume aa raha hai agar i think network ki jagah thoda aap sorry to <laughs> trouble but agar thoda tej bol ke aap uh, possible ho to try kijiye sir yeah yeah let me talk louder and see what i can do uh yeah man now okay so i yes, said better than but proper pura matlab let me log in in sir i guess what's happening is when you are speaking for 1 minute 2 minute continuously over the course the volume is reducing Yes sir go ahead Sorry you are on mute Now the problem is okay Yes sir better Yeah yes, I better, better. I think there was a bluetooth and the bluetooth was weak I have removed it right So the question is the patient's requirement when you look at the percentage of diagnostics medicine surgery 
uh, all these things will be ratio wise will be varying as far as uh, uh, what i see in india it's around 10 to 15 percent is diagnostics 25 percent is medicine remaining are all non medicine non diagnostics will it change or not it's very difficult for me to tell because the more you diagnose the more you treat so its volume may go up but the percentage of revenue of what patient pays for diagnostics may not truly change so this is my opinion as far as the uh, pie diagram of revenue in the healthcare is concerned but that is not very important what is very important is is that adequate testing done for a patient in india the, the answer is no in a western world for a patient in a year if 10 tests are done in india for a patient not even one test is done that is because again uh, that's a matured developed market india will take maybe 10 20 years to become a matured market but the ratio might remain same but the volume certainly will grow this is my uh, inputs for your question Sure, sir. I'll uh, let other Samarth, I guess, have something to ask. And then... Yes, sir. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, sir, one, one question, sir. As an entrepreneur, you started your journey uh, uh, back in 1990s. So, uh, as an entrepreneur, uh, this was a or non-organized sector at that time. So, what was the biggest challenge uh, uh, did you faced at that time, sir? Because logistics would be a problem. Uh, I must month. tell you, everything was a problem. Yeah, for any entrepreneur who gets inside, you ask him, everything is a problem. Yeah, you are new into the market. First and foremost, I was a scientist and I never knew what is business. Second thing was, uh, I knew only thyroid, I did not know pathology. Third thing was uh, to do this kind of uh, sample transportation. Logistics is very, very important. And that time, I'm talking 1995, there was no courier system only. And then IT today is very vital in running business, especially in services industry. And uh, I don't think in 1995, anybody had a web server with them. And HR is something which is not at all understood by people even today, but that was again a challenge. Nobody will come and join in an unbranded uh, entrepreneur. Having said that, everything was the problem, but market was not a problem. Market was having a good pricing, which was sufficient enough for me to disrupt. And number two, this market, uh, there is a punchline, I will tell you, no one opens the syringe before the patient opens the purse, which means uh, you are getting paid up front and you don't have to truly wait for money to come in. And uh, uh, I think there were enough challenges, enough opportunities, enough comforts, all, all were there. But uh, uh, yes, Somebody has to get inside, learn things. Nikal Pado Rasta Apniya Banta hai. So I just got inside, made a lot of mistakes, uh, made, uh, made them very fast and ensured that I didn't repeat the mistakes. So this is common for every entrepreneur then or now. But I can't sit and, uh, you know, uh, my children are wondering, Dad, was that we started a business be before even internet came? is that we managed to do a business without a mobile. So all these things, in fact, the word entrepreneur was never heard by me till I finished 10 years. So ecosystem was different. Environment was different. There were adequate challenges, but there were different challenges those days, and today it's very different challenges. I hope I have answered you. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Value educator, do you have any questions from sir? Sashank bhai? Sashank, you are on mute. Sir, Somebody although... 
Yeah, yeah. Although we discussed it yesterday, but uh, I still want your opinion. Like, how easy or difficult it is uh, to capture the market share from the unorganized. See, unorganized is slowly finding it difficult to survive. Not only in pathology business, even doctors who are standalone, not branded. Uh, diagnostic centers stand alone, not branded. Why that? Even ordinary Kirana Dukan, which is unbranded. Anything unbranded is having challenge. So people are moving from unbranded to branded. So some consolidation is taking place. But the big challenge here in the industry is, and I don't know about other industry in pathology industry, if the market is growing 10 to 12% per annum, then counts of competitors are growing maybe 15 to 20 percent. Since this business has huge profit margins, everybody sees very easy to start. Your, what you need is 300, 400 square feet and you can put one or two machines and you can start uh, operating if you have four or five well wishers as doctors. So Indian healthcare system itself is fragmented. When I tell fragmented, 90% of the medical doctors are practicing standalone, only 10% are attached to big hospitals. So that itself gives room for laboratories to function standalone because standalone doctor wants standalone laboratory only. So consolidation will take place in terms of organize, unorganized to organize. But when I talk about and tell the word consolidation, it is to see how can you get more business to same floor. Instead of putting more floors, if you can get business from multiple cities to one city, the next day morning reporting is something which I did uh, uh, from the day one till I exited. I used to have the laboratory in Navi, Mumbai. And I used to report only next day morning, even for Navi Mumbai. Kashi ho ya washi. Next day only was the result available. This was my conviction which made me to consolidate. But if somebody is under pressure to give a thyroid report within two to three hours, which is a disorder which is going to remain lifelong, they will end up putting in Mumbai itself 10 locations in every district headquarters one. That means everywhere machines will be there, volumes will not be there, volumes are not there. The profitabilities will be less because efficiencies will be low. So that is what I want to call as consolidation and its necessity and its challenges. Any, any more questions? Sir, uh, what is, uh, I mean, we have uh, pricing pressure in the industry. So what is the best way to tackle this? I mean, uh... see, pricing uh, pressure is there in every industry. You ask everyone uh, whether he is a photographer or whether he is uh, even a pan dukan wala or even vada pa wala. Everybody will tell competition ajkal. I think my, my uh, punch again is uh, there are two kinds of people. One who always sees competition, another one who always sees an opportunity. जिसको भगवान दिखता है उसको पत्थर नहीं दिखता है जिसको पत्थर दिखाई देता है उसको भगवान नहीं दिखाई देगा सो देयर इज नो ट्रू कंपटीशन इन दैट सेंस इन सच अ ह्यूज मार्केट एवरीबॉडी हैज इनफ टू हैव अ बिजनेस प्रोवाइडेड ही इज हॉनेस्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्वालिटी इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्राइसिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन there is enough business. I don't think that's any big challenge. Yes, there are many people coming inside. Many coming inside itself says there is too much of business. Otherwise, everybody will not come inside. So uh, I look at it as today there is more business opportunity than the competition. Right, sir. Shri, Shrini, you have any questions? Uh, yes, uh, Prince D. Good evening, everyone. Uh, good evening, Dr. Velumani. Big fan. Uh, your journey is a big inspiration. Thank to you. All of, uh, all of us. Uh, 
thank you for sparing your precious time. Short question. Sir, we are seeing, uh, you know, the consumer purse, to borrow the language, consumer purse in other categories, automobile and some FMCG type. The number of purses is, seems to be reducing. Sometimes the money in the purse is reducing. When they are patients, are you seeing any effect like this or it's not relevant because this is a different type of spend? No, with all said done and the pyramid is pyramid, rich is there, uh, but rich are less, poor are there, but poor are many. So this pyramid is applicable in every industry. And healthcare also is an industry where some people don't go for testing uh, too often or as often as it is needed. For example, a diabetic man must monitor a set of things every quarter. I don't think that is happening. They think once in a year is more than enough. In other words, in India, the preventive health care is hardly anything. In Western world, more than 50% is preventive care. In India, it's hardly 5 to 10%. That too because for the in the recent days a lot of competition and lot of packages are made. I created an ROGM as a profile and today the same ROGM profile is nooks and corners of the country people are producing. So tests have become cheaper because they have become cheaper some consumption has gone up but having said that Mm, people still feel a thousand rupees will get them a better buffet dinner rather than getting a wellness package. So priority is not there for healthcare as of today. Of course, COVID has brought in some significant improvement. People always feel the neighbor only will die because of heart attack. They will not be. But then the challenge is mm, per capita income is low. Let me dwell on it a little more. What we know in India is a per capita income of anything from $3,000 to $4,000 per annum. Whereas the developed countries have $30,000 to $40,000 per annum. Ten times more. And they spend 17% of that their GDP, uh, 15 or 10 to 15%, 17% of GDP. In India, we hardly spend 2 to 3% of GDP. So if you ask me, with this $3,000, roti, kapada, makan is 1000 each. So for healthcare, there is no money available. As much as equity market is expanding for the last two years, I see the number of uh, uh, DMAT account holders uh, are growing in the last two years. Similarly, the healthcare, the investing community and the healthcare uh, opportunity both will be um, next future and per capita income, if it doesn't go up, the consumption will not go up. If money is not there, testing will not be done. Testing, if it is not done, you will come to know very late about a problem. And when you diagnose late and your treatment costs will be high, unfortunately, insurance is not covering even today the diagnostics aspect of it as it should. And uh, biggest challenge is the government is not spending adequate. So a lot of challenges are there. But having said that, in my personal opinion, next 25, 35 years is going to be the best period for healthcare stocks to uh, get the best growth and value. Thank you, sir. Very detailed answer. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Uh, we have one question from Shashank, uh, value educator. He is asking, like, in uh, when you were uh, into business, when things were not going right, how did you tackle those times? Now, I saw Nahi thought things were not going all right. I must tell you, 27 years, it was a heaven. Never I had a problem. A company which has never, never borrowed. A company in which nobody has put in money. Nobody has, though I have gone to an IPO, IPO was not to take money inside the company. The private equity money never came inside the company. Such a wonderful business, very fast growing 25 years, uh, a CAGR of 
I don't think even somebody can dream like that with the 40% profitability every year. I think I was blessed to have landed in thyroid. I must tell you, thyroid sounded like android for me. And I did not ever have any distress. Things were going perfectly all right, except the last one or two years. So you must wonder what is that last one or two years. The COVID came in. COVID was uh, an opportunity for everyone. And I had created a very fast capacity of doing 40,000 RT-PCR per day. And I had a very powerful network. So I picked up sample from everywhere. Now, Velo Money was destroying the business opportunity for the people, stakeholders in the COVID management. So I was uh, blocked right and left, banned right and left. Every other day, there was a news item telling that this municipality has banned Thyrocare, this municipality has banned Thyrocare. Without giving a reason, a SOCAS notice, we were, I was arrested. I went to high court and worked a lot to reverse a lot of uh, such uh, harassment. But having said that, that was a very unfortunate situation the country was facing and uh, challenges were there. Otherwise, the business had never had a situation where Aage kya karega? Esa ek situation ta hi nahi hai. I must tell you here, I left a BRC job not because I wanted to do a better job. BRC job was the best job one can ever dream of. I also haven't left thyrocare business to do some better business. There can't be a better business than thyrocare business. So in my opinion, this journey of the, not only thyrocare, it is, and I don't think either Metropolis or LOL or any of the players, I don't think any challenge is there. Some growth pangs will be there. Some employee retention will be there. Some centers may not do well, but an overall, if I ask me, it was a heaven. Thank you. Sir, can I ask you a question? My name is Devashish Datta. Go ahead. So this information is slightly dated uh, before COVID times. Um, so I worked in telecom, but with telecom, we were working on healthcare across Africa, Asia, uh, South Asia and Southeast Asia. And uh, then I quit my job and, uh, you know, so I looked at healthcare in India and um, and these are stats and this, therefore, the concern. And so if you meet the uh, hospital association in India, which is in Delhi, next to the WHO building, as per them, 50 bed hospitals uh, overall, there are about 2000. So if you do the calculation based on that, uh, you know, basically you get a very small number. Now, there are 2650 uh, STD codes in India. So you can assume there are those many districts in India. So if I do a back of the envelope calculation, as per me, we have approximately about 20 lakh um, hospital beds for a population of 1.4 billion. Now, the other calculation, which I also did at that time, is to if you set up a 500 bed hospital, it will cost you at least a billion dollars. Most of the cost is land, which, of course, they can then negotiate with the government of that city to get it cheap but it is expensive it's almost like setting up a hotel it's not a it's a very asset heavy model is what i'm trying to say the third thing is when i looked at doctors and i consulted with what a lot of them to figure out you know the hif system the hospital information system sir uh, sir just system. to interrupt you uh there was this, sir. sir can you please yeah, um, make yeah i was about to tell him ask me a question but then i didn't feel like yeah it. so so the thing is sir, the challenge is it is so expensive and the doctor community is not aligned to getting efficiencies. How do you address those challenges to make a breakthrough? See, I have been telling that consolidation, volume generation, and the optimization is very important for profitabilities. Now, there are some companies. Let me let us look at uh, even uh, a, 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 a telecom industry which you say you were with. MTNL never made profit. Airtel and Jio are making a lot of profit. So it's nothing to do with industry. It is to do with their efficiencies. In the airline industry, Air India never made profit. But Indigo, at least uh, in between, made a lot of profit. 
So if you ask me, it is nothing problem of the industry. It is the problem of the stakeholders who are the players who haven't got an efficient model to operate. I think, uh, uh, look at the hospital's uh, numbers. They are not discouraging. But having said that, if somebody has put up an ordinary casual uh, uh, hospital, not a good uh, uh, quality of service and not a fair pricing, it's very difficult for them to make money. Cutting the long story short, what do you do is not as important as how do you do whether it is diagnostics or whether it is pharma companies or whether it is uh, hospitals or whether it is non-health care everywhere, only an efficiency can give returns to the investor and uh, nothing else. Uh, hi, yeah. can, I, can I ask you a question, sir? Yeah, uh, Mr. Imran, uh, one minute, uh, Mr. Imran, one minute. Doctor Cardio. Yeah, one second, sir. Uh, doctor, yeah. uh, sorry. Uh, Dabasi, sir, uh, have you got your answer or uh, you have any follow up question? No. So, the way I understand it is what Dr. Venumani is saying is uh, the challenges are big, but how you go about doing it is, and that's where actually I got stumped, sir, because I found the community of doctors to be extremely, you know, this guy drives an ASX, an Audi ASX. He is uh, uh, MD. Uh, he is an HOD of a prominent hospital. I'm just taking a caricature. Don't take it as a personal this thing. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is that he's happy. He's making, you know, anything in excess of 15 to 20 lakhs a month. So my point is, if he's happy, why would he want disruption? And change will happen only through disruption. And that, therefore, I found it very challenging. Okay, let me, let me give you a punchline. Success is never a problem. Sustaining the success is the biggest problem. Next question, please. Yeah, Dr. Cardio. Good evening, everybody. I'm Dr. Vikas Prohit. I'm a cardiologist. Uh, my question to sir is that uh, uh, right now, WHO is considering health for all initiatives. And uh, in future, we will see that the uh, cost of the treatment uh, will come down. And obviously, our government or governments are all over the India are also pitching in. There are multiple health schemes are there. So uh, what I'm seeing that uh, over the time, the margin of uh, whether any operation, pro operative procedure or uh, any investigation is their margins are coming down. The packages are very less, but the volumes of uh, them are increasing. And we are also expecting the all diseases uh, as our population grow next 10, 10 to 20 years. We are expecting more people will get uh, disease. These are the uh, government and WHO estimates, but uh, the, uh, the packages which you previously, like, for example, what, I'm a what is the question, sir? So my question is that how how you say in uh, next year uh, health healthcare in next 10 20 years as uh, the procedure will uh, procedure volume will grow but margin will come down heavily on investigation as well as on treatment part. See, I told about Arvind the hospital. There is no one charging as less as Arvind the hospital is uh, charging, and. No one has more profit than Arvind Hospital. They do, I think, two patients out of five patients, they do free of cost also. What I'm trying to tell is, uh, as a cardiologist, or as an MD doctor, as a medical doctor, 80% of the work done by the medical doctors is a paramedical work. You need to rework on it. I ask a question आप काम करते हैं या या काम कराते हैं। So a lot of work can be got done using trained MBBS, trained BSc, MSc. So in my personal opinion, currently you have enough margin, so you are not trying those procedures. You will be naturally forced to employ trained uh, staff who are paramedical to do all paramedical work and medical work only a medical doctor should do. Many are now reviewing and reworking on it when they understand that they have to do more cases. Medical community doesn't believe that somebody else can do that work as efficiently as they can do. But that is not true. You can make a man to do as good as you are doing. So in my personal opinion, the turnover will go down. 
but profit will absolute profit will improve thank you sir imran you go next uh thank you i i, I hope i'm audible uh, uh, doctor yes uh thanks for the opportunity doctor uh, i am an investor i just uh, uh, wanted to understand from your side if you can tell us you know the these uh, stand alone patient service centers right uh, in the diagnostic space especially the in vitro diagnostics uh, sir how i mean how stressful they are you know given the situation currently we we are in because the bigger players can only you know uh, have efficiencies and all those things but for for them they have to give a 30 40% cut to the doctor and then 25 30% on the reagents rent you know employee salary and all those things so 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 how large this market was and and what do you think you know this market is currently it's very difficult for me to give a business model and profit with the cut in the system and cut for the agents that's very very unfortunate having said that again i think the word is volume and efficiency if you have a walk in center that walk in center can manage anything from two patients to 200 patients a day so if you only get single digit number of patient aap dukan band karna hi padega do saal ke andar agar aapke paas 25 patient roz walk in karte hain to aapko profit bahut aayega अगर समझो साउ पेशेंट आ ही गया है इससे ज्यादा प्रॉफिट किसी भी बिजनेस में नहीं है सो आई थिंक व्हाट वी नीड टू लुक एट इट इज इज द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द इन द प्रीमाइसेस फुल्ली यूटिलाइज्ड आई मस्ट वंस अगेन टेल यू इफ एवरी स्क्वायर फीट इज यूज्ड the profitability is highest be it a hospital diagnostic center or even a collection center so kharch to rahega sab ko to khilana padega lekin volume rahega sab kuch hone ke baad bhi aapko profit aayega volume pakadne ke liye rasta pakadiyega aisa hai ki as of today the communication between the customer and the laboratory is very very weak and poor though it has improved in the last couple of uh, uh, 10 20 years it will take little more time patient is scared to knock the doctor's door though he has problem because he does not know andar ek bar ghus gaya hazar kharch hoega ya lakh kharch hoega so this is the biggest problem and lack of confidence lack of trust all are the major problem there is no problem with the discipline and its profitability uh ripal you go next ripal can you please unmute the uh, mic and speak now the voice is all right yes yes yeah sir it's fine so in the meantime sir uh, let me ask one question the tie, government tie up in diago, uh, diagnostic industry how you see it i mean how profitable it can be uh, as a business because dealing with government is not a i mean see one problem i think there is a in fact a miss uh no more what is known as public private partnership public private partnership is meant for high capex infrastructure like roads tolls tolls bridges all those things need public private partnership uh, where uh, too much of money is needed too much of administration is needed in a uh, pathology business i don't think anything really is a capex any 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 laboratory to put up it needs only 2 crores 3 crores i don't think government is needed having said that what is happening in the industry is contracts this is not public private partnership 
each each state government uh, asks any private player i at this rate i want you to give service and there are many people who agree to do at that rate and government chooses who has better strength and gives that business to them of course they ask what percentage in the given rate also you can give so it's a very good system it works very well all that laboratories who could get government business have got very high very good turnover but the big challenge is in government business the money part is taking sometimes one year and even after one year without uh, what do you call as uh, 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 greasing the palms you can't get the money out so all those challenges are there otherwise i think in the long run what government should do is give to the laboratory on a contract and ensure that in that contract quality is delivered and they are paid i think this will work government can never produce it by itself an efficient uh, solution it will be an r and d again so it should be in the hands of private and de- that rate private laboratories can agree for any rate i think i have learned in the covid days in the covid days uh, we were all asked to bid for governments like uh, jharkhand uh, um, bihar and uh, even uh, um, maharashtra different parts of uh, maharashtra districts but let me tell you the rates quoted by the laboratories was unimaginably low which means what in diagnostics turnover pakadna mushkil hai profit banana mushkil nahi hai this is my inputs okay, so ravi summer any questions from your side and uh, shashank if you have if you are not traveling you can also ask yeah ravi so i want to know one thing like now lots of private equity kind of investors are entering so does it bother you in terms of their uh, there would be very much profit driven at the end and right now might be they uh, they are charging very low and eventually will uh, disrupt the market in terms of we have lots of unorganized player and then they will milk uh, patient uh is is this thing uh, bothers you <laughs> it doesn't bother me now because i have exited until i exited it was bothering in other words there were many who were into business uh somebody who runs a laboratory will be told by an investor i will give you 2 mil- 2, 2 million dollar if you can grow the business the guy tells sir i can't grow the business until i reduce the rate then reduce the rate sir if i reduce the rate there won't be any profit he tells no profit needed you burn now this burning of investor money did not happen till year 2000 subsequently a lot of interest was seen in diagnostic scripts and especially after the three major laboratories got listed and their multiples were very high all over the country every laboratory received 2 million dollar to 20 million dollar depending upon the size and all what they did was burn the big problem in diagnostic specifically laboratory test is without this volume this rate is not possible and without this rate this volume is not possible which means you need somebody to invest heavily so that you become one in top 5 we have been four laboratories top 4 for the last 20 years srl metropolis lal and thairo care and there would no one could reach there in terms of volume only because as i said it isn't easy unless otherwise you burn the money coming to the specific answer to your question everybody feels they will take off they think that 
it is only the runway uh, burning but unfortunately after reaching at 20 crore 30 crore turnover they are unable to uh, go to the 100 plus uh, size now this is what happened not one or two there are 100 units across india which are 40 50 60 crores and they are not in a position to go 100 plus crores but this is some kind of peculiar problem because when you have very low volume you have very high profit when you have very high volume you have very high profit in between no profit now tell me how people will travel through a very funny situation which investors need to understand uh sir one more thing like uh, you, we were talking about top four diagnostic company in india uh, how much they have market share and how consolidated market is in the western counterparts western counterparts uh, there is no such uh, situation like in india only top three four are uh, uh, having a 15 percent market share Remaining uh, 25,000 or 40,000 laboratories have the remaining 85% market share. This is what is India's position. This many players are not there in Western countries. There a lot of consolidation takes place. There the business is not standalone business as I said. It's our institutional business. And institutional businesses are all uh, in, uh, insurance covered, insurance guided, insurance channelized. So you don't have this kind of a fragment, fragmented market in Western world. In high per capita income, it may not be Western, even in Gulf countries, there is no standalone practice because of which industry is better organized. Uh, one more question, sir, on uh, hospital side. Say, as an investor, we see hospital as a very low return ratio. Like, uh, ROC we looks at uh, for hospital business, and they generate very low ROCE uh, compared to diagnostic, which is very high ROC. But as an investor, when we value uh, hospital business, what we do is we take a benchmark of, say, Asian hospitals who trade at 18, 20, kind of multiple of EBITDA, EV EBITDA, and then we say that India has a very long runway of growth and we have a higher multiple. But do you think it's wrong because we have a very different cost of capital compared to this uh, Southeast Asian uh, the, nation? Any business which has high cap, inter, capex intensive, high capex, obviously your return on uh, capital employed will be less. And the hospitals have huge uh, infrastructure costs, number one. Number two, once you are a hospital, you need to put ex, uh, not just uh, small machines, uh, CT, MRI, linear accelerator, PET CT, all those things when you put together, it's a huge investment. And also first three, four, five years go without break even. So hospitals have a very, very big challenge of giving returns and that is why the multiples are not as good as uh, diagnostics. Even in diagnostics, radiology has higher capex, pathology has lower capex. So pathology business has scalability, radiology is not scalable. By the way, I have failed miserably in a radiology business because in radiology, you can't do what you do in pathology. In pathology, the specimen can fly across the country. Here, the patient cannot move more than 25-30 kilometers. So, a lot of dynamics are there. I don't think investors understand every dynamic and even the players also are still not clear about what and all is going to help them to improve their bottom line and the returns to the investor. Having said that, Halka, most profitable, highest PE multiple is in pathology business. Yeah, Samarth. Yes, sir. Uh, doctor, sir. Uh, yes. One uh, question. Uh, you have exited thyroid as of now. So, what are your plans for future? Whether you are thinking... Uh, to be a shark tank or a, or a philanthropist uh, for the future, sir? One year has gone. Still, I have not become pregnant. 
and uh, i am keen to rest and relax rather than get into race again because if i was to if i am to run a business that business was very good to run i would have run it having said that if i find something truly truly tempting i might get in as of now there is no specific plan also i want you people to understand i have only sold indian business i have business in uh, Uh, eight more countries those business i am doing in a different name that is uh, managed by a team mm, i am relaxing but the, not that uh, uh, i have completely exited uh, only in india i have a non compete and i won't be doing business in india in diagnostics and in healthcare thank you sir So guys uh, if you have any more questions you can send in your request or uh, ravi any more questions or shashank if you got free you were saying you have something to ask dr arpit uh, we have also sent you a request in case you have any questions so sir in the meantime so uh, say in the health spend the diagnostic expenditure is small how you see going forward i mean uh, for the maybe the companies on the insurance side or maybe they get more proactive about preventive health care or so so how you see going forward on this front sir acche din aane wala hai and this is what i will tell as far as diagnostics is concerned health care is concerned today the mean age of an indian is 28 he is very busy in marriage honeymoon and some of them in maternity home searching some of them in lkg ukg admissions uh, buying car buying house but no one truly has crossed truly to 35 40 years of age only will make healthcare as the need so if you ask me indian mean age 28 to go to your mean age of even 35 it will take next 20 years and for this next 20 years you will have a better growth than what you had last 20 years so one is age that is demography number two is uh, per capita income is growing when per capita income goes uh, healthcare becomes a priority third one is awareness is going especially after the arrival of uh, covid uh, people now understand uh, antibody kya hota hai pcr kya hota hai ye kisi ko pata bhi nahi tha abhi almost everybody you know what it is to that extent if you ask me the awareness is growing so awareness growth per capita income growth age uh, becoming uh, higher will push insurance penetration is 5 make maximum as of today it will go to 50% in another 20 years so that is another push it will come government says healthcare as an vote bank uh, arvind kejriwal and even rajasthan chief minister has announced healthcare is free and even aishman bharat says healthcare is free so the bottom half of the pyramid will be getting a lot of government money inside so the industry will grow diagnostics will grow so that is what you call as better allocation of funds by government also happens more than anything else aur roz roz advertisement aata hai thyroid 100 rupya mein hoega vitamin d 200 rupya mein hoega ये देखकर सभी लोग कंसम्पन ज्यादा करते हैं व्हेन द प्राइस इज रिब्रॉड डाउन बाय कंपटीशन कंसम्पन गोस अप सो आई सी अ वेरी गुड ग्रोथ इफ द लास्ट 10 20 इयर्स वाज अ सीएजीआर ऑफ 15% नेक्स्ट 20 इयर्स द सीएजीआर विल बी 25% इज व्हाट माय पर्सनल कैलकुलेशन इज इट कुड बी लिटिल लेसर बट आई एम थिंकिंग पॉजिटिव Yeah, thank you, sir. So, Ravi, uh, Samarth, any other questions, or uh, shall we? We we will wind up at nine fifteen. Right, sir. So, guys, uh, those who have 
questions uh, we can pull you up kindly send a request uh, we have some <laughs> sir for another 10 minutes so any sir ek bilkul basic question si agar koi aisa hai jisko bahut zyada intricacies nahi pata hai aur he or she wants to look at the valuations of diag- diagnostic industry to matlab how he or she go about it matlab kya dekhna chahiye ek bar usme invest karne se pehle ye bahut mushkil ki kaam hai aaj kisi ne uh, tweet kiya tha velu man dairo kar share is after 6 years of listing it is the same price on listing today sunke bahut dukh ho rahi hai not only this company there are many companies but uh, it is happen happens to be a healthcare and a, a diagnostic company now ye 6 saal mein kitni uttar uta kitni chada uta itna tha isme bahut paisa bahut banaya log hai bahut koya log bhi hai but having said that company had been consistently performing there was no uh, challenge in the performance there was some challenge in a quarter but overall in a year there was not at all a challenge that means what the valuation and the multiples are not decided by the promoters same diagnostic companies in exactly an year back was having double the multiples what they are getting today so it's very very challenging for uh, any investor to understand uh, diagnostic industry ka kya multiple des dena hai aur ya wo industry mein kisko kitna multiple dena hai ye itna aasan nahi hai so i wouldn't be able to give any specific inputs but one thing i'll tell you in the long run diagnostics will be not only diagnostics entire healthcare will be a very good script i don't think in healthcare as a total when you look at 5 year 10 year horizon i don't think you will be any less than any of the indices of the market just one question sir uh, follow up uh, where you would be if you would invest where you would be more bullish radiology side pathology side uh, acute illness or chronic illness which you think has a longer faster kind of runway to be very honest with you i will put in every diagnostic company i won't put in one or two because the industry will never go wrong individual companies could go wrong i know as an investor you are tempted to put in that company which is likely to give you 3% more than the industry you might do that i am a bit of a conservative investor if i have to invest i will pick up pathology top 4 put some money radiology top 4 put some money hospital top 4 put some money pharma top 4 put some money and it's a very safe one you might end up with some 12 to 15% return usse zyada lalach bhi nahi honi chahiye sorry if i am talking little different but uh, since you have asked the question i felt i must talk to you honestly sure sir sure sir just wanted your view here yes we have another 5 minutes ek kisi ko sawal puchna hai to puchiye ga ek bahut basic jaise risk ka jo factor rehta hai wo sabse important rehta hai investing ke time pe to what are the possible risk you see in the space so matlab investment karne se pehle logo ko soch ke chalna chahiye see other other industries like uh, you know different in the plastic paint paper or uh, you know finance uh, various industries have multiple risks of sarkars uh, putting some kind of uh, restrictions and usage and uh, you know even import export uh, restrictions all come into picture when it comes to healthcare i don't think that will have any challenge there can be a competition internally new players may come in but the more the players the merrier is the industry so i don't see in healthcare as a space there is a risk element 
risk element is you have invested in one company that company had a, a, in between a very big fortune of some government business you looked at the cagr for the last 3 4 years and you were impressed and you put in money that contract is gone and then suddenly the investors will be disappointed if the growth is not there and multiple will come down and you will be suffering ये एक तो बिजनेस टॉप फोर में किसी को तो जानी चाहिए ये कंपनी ये इज लास्ट द बिजनेस इट हैज टू गो टू बी सो एज एन इंडस्ट्री आई डोंट सी इन हेल्थ केयर एनी सेगमेंट इधर फार्मा और इनफैक्ट फार्मा हैज सम हाई Uh, higher risk than diagnosis because in pharma some big companies may face some kind of too much of uh, negative uh, publicity as well as uh, a lot of uh, regulations diagnostic industry will not have any challenge kul ke sabhi ke sabhi companies mein panch company kam se kam bada company mein apna funds ko allocate karke divide kariyega रिस्क फिल बिल्कुल जीरो रहेगा मार्केट का रिस्क मार्केट का रिस्क सेंसेक्स नीचे गया सेंसेक्स नीचे गया इंडस्ट्री नीचे गया कोविड गया सब सभी डायग्नोस्टिक स्क्रिप्ट्स डाउन है बट हैविंग सेड दैट दैट काइंड ऑफ रिस्क आर नॉट एनीथिंग इंडिविजुअल्स कैन ट्रूली असेस एंड बी इंटेलिजेंट इनफ मैं इतना ही कहूंगा करंटली डायग्नोस्टिक्स इज हैविंग द लोएस्ट प्राइस एवर वन कैन इमेजिन if you want truly to see a long term prosperity kari the ho sakta hai aur bhi 3 mahina waisa hi rahega lekin 5 saal ka plus ka investment mein aapko badhiya bhavishya rahega so ravi samarth any questions or shall we wrap this up it was very insightful from uh, dr saab uh, about the whole business and his journey towards the uh, uh, entrepreneurial journey from a salaried person to a business owner so highly overwhelmed sir uh, thank you thank you very much and uh, thank you prince uh, thank you the co-hosts and uh, uh, all those who ask question and uh, maybe once in a quarter i will be very happy to be a part of uh, this space Yeah, sir. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We'll Thank surely you, sir. organize uh, more such sessions with you, and uh, we would be very um, blessed uh, to get insights from you. And it it is very humble of you to generously take all the questions. And uh, we have seen people circumvent in cases when they don't want to give direct answers, but we see that you are. Uh, very honest with your answers and uh, it is really i mean the disruption which you have caused in the space is uh, really helpful for the masses it was uh, wonderful you. having you over our space sir and uh, keep adding value thank sir, you honor to have you today thank you so much sir thing, sing and is, thank you sing, sing is king picture mein akshay kumar bolta hai मैं तो सच बोलता हूँ अपने आप अच्छे लग जाता है थैंक 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 यू 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 एंड 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 टू टू आवर हु पेशेंटली लिसन अस आस्क वेरी रेलेवेंट क्वेश्चंस इवन इफ एनी वन ऑफ कनेक्ट ड्यू टू सम कनेक्टिविटी इश्यूज और एनी अदर थिंग वी कैन टेक अप योर क्वेश्चन इन नेक्स्ट स्पेसिस और मे बी यू कैन tag us uh, and tag sir uh, with your questions so we, we will try to take your questions with sir and get them answered but make sure it should not be any stock uh, means buy sell if you are looking for any buy sell recommendation that won't help but again genuine questions genuine queries will be taken up and if you guys are enjoying our spaces uh, connect with us so that uh, in future also you get notification when we host such wonderful spaces with the eminent people like dr sir who has a very i mean wonderful journey as a scientist and as well as an entrepreneur and uh, the kind of service he has given to mankind thank you sir thank you bye good night sir thank you oh. sir good night sir